This is where the hunt began. Marjorie Courtney Latimer is the curator of a small coastal museum. alerted on the return of the deep sea fishing trawlers. Marjorie is always on the lookout for any unusual specimens. Good morning, East London Museum. Thank you, Mr. Jackson, I'm on my way. This shipment contains something extraordinary. has never seen anything like it before. The creature is over five feet long, around 130 pounds, with strange iridescent markings and fins that look like limbs. Although dead, there's no blood, no secretion from the mouth, nose, or body, common with all other fish. What is this creature? Marjorie contacts fish expert and professor J.L.B. Smith with a sketch and description of her mysterious discovery. Dear Mr. Smith, I had the most queer-looking specimen brought to notice yesterday which I had removed to our taxidermist as soon as I could. It is coated in heavy scales, almost armor-like. The fins resemble limbs and are scaled right up to a fringe of filament. I would be so pleased if you could let me know what you think. Wishing you all the happiness for the season. Yours sincerely, Marjorie Courtney Latimer. Specimen bears similarities to an ancient lobed finned fish Smith has seen before, but not in a picture, in a fossil. The limb like fins, the large armored scales and bony plated head, and a tail that no living fish possesses. This predator was thought to have gone extinct with the dinosaurs. Time is running out. The strange creature begins to rot, and with no word from Smith, Marjorie must act quickly. A solution of diluted formalin is her only hope to preserve the specimen. There's nothing else she can do but wait. Nearly two weeks later, a telegram finally arrives from Smith. She's 
gutted and cleaned the specimen. Without the innards, the fish's true origins are inconclusive. In response to Marjorie's letter, Smith must resolve his suspicions once and for all and come face to face with this monster of the deep. Smith can barely believe his eyes. There is not a shadow of a doubt, scale by scale, bone by bone, fin by fin. It is a true coelacanth. The discovery spreads around the world as the most important zoological find of the century. But there is a problem. With no internal organs to describe, many questions remain unanswered. Is this creature the missing link in human evolution? Where did it come from? And what else might be alive down there? Smith becomes obsessed with finding a second complete specimen. The hunt is on. But Hunt is over 1,500 kilometers away on the remote volcanic islands of the Comores. JLB Smith searched his entire life for another coelacanth. He never did find one. <laughs> 